How do you do, my dudes? Welcome back to Completely Hours Gaming, and welcome back to Machine Today. Hope you're having an absolutely awesome day. I'm doing excellent myself. I'm ready to uh, to get strapped in for this one. Uh, there's a lot of action over here in uh, Rayleigh. As uh, last time, ooh, still with the camera. What's going on there? Uh, as last time, we put in two more trains stopping right here in Rayleigh. One is a um, a postal train, a mail wagon kind of thing. The other one is a um, a passenger and mail going out of Rayleigh to uh, to Columbus. The uh, the mail train going from Rayleigh to um, uh, San Diego over there, which is awesome. Uh, there, that's also incidentally where our passenger train um, southbound from uh, Rayleigh goes as well. As for today's episode, uh, other than that, we also set up this whole extravagant coal routage up to the tool works up here. That's uh, that's also been done. We'll we'll get to talking about the um, the coal mine near Plano in a second, but um, we also managed to plan for the future over here and also screw that up quite significantly, apparently, uh, which uh, which is unfortunate. We can uh, we can probably remedy that situation pretty quickly by putting in a signal right about here we'll probably use this one like so that should allow that train to go which will allow this train to go uh especially if we were to put one in there as well and this should be able to um, exit out this way in a second i'm hoping yeah see there we go there we go that's excellent right there that's that's exactly what we want to do to go down um Anyways, uh, we have this uh, coal mine up here now by uh, by Plano. We also need steel, and if we look at the big map here, there's no coal in the vicinity of any of the iron um, steel works. Is that what it's called? Foundry is what it's called. You, not a brain. Um, so we'll need to ship. Well, we got one over here. I didn't see that one before, uh, but we could easily get iron and coal from here, ship it over here, and uh, probably truck it the last distance there. Or what we could also do is we got the station set up with a, a rail connection already to um, coal mine near Plano. We could go ahead and use that, ship it over there. We could grab iron from here, ship that there. And then we could consider whether or not using trucks would be the optimal route over to the steel works here. Uh, sorry, tool works here or the, uh, the steel tokens. Uh, or if we wanted to put up some kind of um, some kind of train system going on here. I'm kind of leaning towards, you know, using trucks because trucks are new in this update. And also, um, you know, that would allow us to, to connect up these two uh, quite easily to the same kind of uh, road infrastructure. Uh, and to begin with, in this episode, we'll probably set up a road uh, system going between these two and over to the tool works and expanding upon that wouldn't uh, necessarily demand all that much. We could also add the coal mine over here to that same uh, kind of road network layout kind of kind of jazz and we got the, the depot up here so at least for these three that shouldn't be too much of a initial drag in order to get to um, get on station so to speak uh, but of course for for um, for the steelworks down here it will be quite quite the trek to get down there but once they're there you know they can do their own business as they uh, as they so oftenly choose to do. Now I I haven't I I've played around with trying to set up some kind of um, extravagant road infrastructure of a of a uh, station stop kind of thing. I haven't really uh, figured out how I want to do it yet because it's like the the station catchment is smaller than with a train. Obviously, might not surprise anyone. Um, and I mean I mean we could go something like that. The thing is, every one of these tiles. Uh, blocks, whatever you want to call them, can hold a, a, a truck in each direction. But I'm not sure if if, um, if one is stopped where my mouse, mouse cursor is now, closest to me and um, closest to camera and on the left side, seen from from above. If um, if the truck is there, can can another truck stop here, or will it then wait stopping until it's passed on by? I don't know. So I think we'll we'll try this on for size, see if it will work. We'll uh, go ahead and we'll uh, scroll out a little. We'll um, see where we're headed. We'll probably have something along the lines of. Hang on, we should probably get the um, this thing in first on illegal crossing. Is it? All right. 
How about that then? That will work. Just cost a fortune and a half. 31 miles an hour, or we can uh, we can uh, splurge a little, double the cost, and get it to 50. I think we'll go with the 50. Uh, just because it looks nicer, we currently have the cash. That ain't gonna last us for long, but you know, right now we got the cash, so that's um, that's gonna work out just fine. And I don't want ah. Uh, okay, and then straight ahead. There you go. Good stuff. Uh, we we won't be doing uh, the bridge over here just yet. We'll first and foremost get the um, the uh, planks shipped over and uh, the the logs get that kind of set up. Uh, I think we'll we'll have the road going straight ahead because we also want to connect up the coal. And then we'll have kind of a um, a junction here somewhere, probably up here would probably be nice. Um, come down like so and over, and I think we should still be able to catch the we should excellent we'll do that and uh maybe fling it down here like so so that the uh trucks can keep going without being interfered by the truck stopping at the um at the sawmill uh do we i think we'll we'll um we'll go up above this way because uh because of the um the forest up there then we'll continue onwards uh over here we'll stop it right there because we're not going to prioritize the coal we're going to prioritize the um the wood here from the forester that going to be enough i think that's going to be more than plenty um it's not going to be going it's not going to go that far so um that should probably be more than enough i think we'll go something like that it's going to work going to do just fine we'll uh, go ahead and grab that road right there out this way come on this way the thing is Roads are about as expensive as as uh, rails. Hang on, let's let's have a look. Two is four, so that's uh, two per. All right, it's one per. Holy smokes, roads are more expensive than rails. Kind of makes you question whether or not using um, using this kind of uh, of um, transportation is even worthwhile in the long end, in the long term. If it is, that will mean that um, running costs will be ridiculously low compared to a train. Which is one and two, and at least for the early ones, is one and two. So, I'm, I'm excited to see this. No, see, it's one for, for most of these. Still one, though. Uh, it can carry eight very well, but a train can, a train costing one can carry a lot more. All right, very well. 0 0.2 all right here they here they start making a difference because 0 0.2 coal makes for a difference regular train costs at least one maybe even two maybe even three uh but uh but 0 0.2 that's that's not a lot i think maybe we'll go with this one for the um uh for the planks over there but we'll start off with some of these we'll probably go with these ones because they cost the same uh not cost but running cost is the same and these are faster more powerful all the good stuff uh we should buy one then set up the line then duplicate it that's what you do when you're being smart about things l that yes oops you come with me please go there did you get that order no you didn't go there yes and there beautiful now duplicate that a couple of times how many do you think you need like four or it's probably fine yep start that or it might be a, a bit much we'll see how it goes and sorry we'll just start all of them what the heck what the heck there you go beautiful and then trucks again get me uh the bottom one was pretty nice this one yes you did the same mistake as you did before but um i'm sure that's fine probably part of the plan all right so uh this needs some orders as well we'll uh, go there that you did the same thing again hit the plus button hit that then hit this one beautiful that's that's the way to go excellent um and before we start that one let's uh, go ahead and duplicate that thing we'll probably do four of these as well maybe five even because it's a long stretch let's do five what the heck there you go hit the play button on all of these there you go beautiful 
Do we have extensions for this? We do. Locomotive works. That doesn't seem like yeah something that would interest a, uh, a depot like this. A truck depot? Really? Locomotive works? All right. Very well. Let's uh, hit the play button. See how uh, this plays out. I think this should. Uh, I think this should do us nicely. You know. Still a whole bunch of people situated in this one stop. We could maybe utilize that for uh, for some extravagant purposes in the future. That should at least help uh, Rayleigh here grow quite significantly. Apparently the buses really helped grow the cities because, you know, we had buses running around here. That worked. I think we should do the same thing over here uh, in uh, Miami. Although Miami is already starting to become somewhat... Um, Somewhat large in size. Uh, I think we'll we'll go ahead and we'll do that real quick because it doesn't really. No, we won't because that's way too far away to actually put in a, a road line at least for now. Um, but all right, we will now have a logs being transported over here. We are will be spending one coal per tech per per month, I suppose, uh, in upkeep. Which should be more than enough uh, production over here for that to uh, uh, to um, not be a problem. And you can see we get a ton of cold co old coins. Old coins? Is that what you call it? Possibly. Maybe even probably. Uh, five to three. I wish we could grab this one as well. What the hell? We'll grab it. There you go. Beautiful. Excellent. Wonderful. Right, now we should probably look into some more cash cash um, growing schemes. We got our, our truck set up, which will uh, help with the um, with the plant production, anyways. So um, next up, more money in the bank. Maybe this might be a good way to go about it as well. One one passenger line, one um, sorry, one one cash scheme, one um, non cash scheme. And then just alternate until you've uh, at least filled out the, um, the map with cash schemes. You could go ahead and uh, possibly drag this little road connection right here up here, and that way uh, set up some kind of um, inside the city kind of uh, transport scenario over here. We'll go ahead and do that with uh, at least one bus. That would be. Uh, what are you thinking? What were you thinking? All right. Let's uh, get rid of that. And this one, because I don't like having ends going into nowhere. We'll do that. And yep. And like so. And come on down like that. And we'll need you to come out this way. And hook on up to that. We'll, we'll actually go ahead and uh, connect you up here as well. I think like so. Beautiful. And then we'll have a station. Here, I have a station other way, other way, that way, yes. And then maybe one over here, and one up here, and one down there. There you go, beautiful. Coming over here, get me a bus, trucks, bus, beautiful. Uh, will you accept your own mail? I don't know. Let's get a bus going. Orders. We'll be getting some orders. All right. Go there. Go there. Go there. And go there. Good on ya. Hopefully that will uh, will make sure we get some extra people in here. Let's go ahead and smack down a waiting room as well. We'll uh, yeah, we'll grab some extra houses. That will probably be good for the uh, passenger flow of Rayleigh over here. Also wanted to grab those tiles right there so that if they build up here, they don't take these spots uh, for the city, but rather for, um, we can use it for, for expanding our, our reach, so to speak. Excellent, what's our next cash scheme? We'll go ahead and uh, connect San Bernardino to um, Columbus over here. I'll probably be um, be viable. Probably do by, by train, I think. We'll go ahead and uh, double track this because um, Always nice to double track, isn't it? There you go. And uh, get rid of that. We'll probably need to pause it just real quick. Uh, give me you. Up like that. Beautiful. And uh, set up one of these. 
Set up one of these. And then a lot of these ones. There you go. Excellent. Like so. I think that uh, that should do it. Excellent. And uh, do we go around this in order to get down, or do we just cut a, cut a hole through the mountain there? Mm, I'm thinking we'll cut cut a hole. Just go straight through. Right about. Probably want these two. All right. So we'll we'll go ahead and we'll do that. That and that. Beautiful. One track, two track. What side is this? This is this side. And just coming up here, over here, and connect up. Beautiful. The issue now will be that uh, we don't really have any trucks running forth and back here other than uh, going out to places. So it's not going to be an issue here, but. When having a junction like this, I mean, the trains would block the, the trucks if uh, if that was an issue. You know, if, if the trains are waiting to come in here, it would essentially block the, the road up there or the road going across there. So I think if we ever use this for anything else than shipping tr trucks out to places, uh, we'll probably end up making that a bridge or a tunnel, I think, just to uh, alleviate that issue. Uh, we'll go ahead and set up that as well. You'll be going out. You'll be going out. You'll be going out. Oops. You'll be going out. You'll be going in. And so will you. But you will be going out. There you go. Much better. Excellent. Like so. Could have fixed it by just moving the signals to the other side of uh, these two to, to this side. Could have fixed it. But, uh, oops. Oh well, we'll just have two right after each other then. That'll be fine. There you go, beautiful. Uh, do we have any other signals here? Not too many. So we'll put up these two so that we don't block the junction here by trains not being able to pass through here. I'll set up something a little bit closer as well. There you go, beautiful. Keep adding ESC in order to... <laughs> Uh, oops, I didn't finish the, the line. Keep adding ESC in order to get out of the construction mode, but that doesn't work. That does not work. This is not going to bring... It's going to bring a lot of passengers to Bernardino, San Bernardino, but it's not going to bring a lot back. But um, uh, Columbus over here is already doing quite fine uh, in terms of uh, passenger growth, so I think we should be uh, just fine. We'll go into lower side here because we never know what we'll, uh, what we'll expand into. Better to have the options available, I find. Um, in regards to these things, let's just go. We're out of cash again, really? Come on. This happened last time too. It's like I. It's like a never-ending desire to screw with me. All right, we are almost there. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. 115. That should probably allow us to connect these two up. No, it shouldn't. Who am I to to think such? Wild and crazy thoughts, right? Let's go ahead and get that in, get this in. Uh, I don't think the signals are that expensive, so we can probably um, wham some of those in. Like that. Like that. Oops. Like so, beautiful. Get a couple of those in. Get one there as well. Get this one here. And just have, I suppose there is going to be fine, like so. Do we have signals on this end? We already do, excellent. Well, I'm going to delete this signal because it annoys me already. And, you know, I haven't even thrown a train down there yet. So, yeah, might as well. All right, you, give me an engine. Do we have anything that runs some coal yet? We do, this one. 53 miles an hour. That's quite speedy, isn't it? One coal per month. All right, we'll, we'll splurge a little, I think. All right, that's going to be fine. Orders, you will go from Columbus. 
to San Bernardino. And that's going to be all she wrote. All the train looking. Train's coming along. Come on, move it. Beautiful. Hit the play button. There you go. Have a look at this beast coming out of the of the station here. The junk the depot at least. Whatever. There it goes. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. This the this is the view of progress and the future. Looks good too. Doesn't doesn't mind that at all. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to flee a massive like it. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, or questions, down below in the comment section. And if you did watch this far and you did find yourself enjoying it, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Anyways, that's going to be it for uh, today. See you next time. Here we go.